Welcome to IMS Gate Academy. My name is Vipin Mishra. I am the lead mentor at IMS Gate Academy and I welcome you all in this IMS Gate Academy platform. So I have a big update for you that the Gate syllabus is now being released on IIT Roorkee website. And here is the syllabus of electrical engineering. So the important news is as we compared this syllabus with the last time syllabus that we have in Gate 2024, there is no change in the syllabus. Okay. The whole syllabus is being divided into several sections, almost 10 sections are there. In section number 1, we have engineering mathematics and in engineering mathematics, the usual sections are linear algebra, calculus, differential equation, complex variable, probability and statics and you can just refer to this syllabus that inside these topics, exactly what you have to cover. Maths is a very important subject, it has a weightage around 13 to 15 marks in the exam. Then in section 2, we have network analysis. So in network analysis, you have to just cover basic concepts of networks, okay, uh, DC transients, KVL, KCL, nodal mesh analysis and different uh, uh, th electrical circuit theorems, okay. Then two code network and some concepts of three phase circuit and power factor as well. Then we have electromagnetic field in the section number 3. So in electromagnetic field, still we have to cover the same things which are electrostatic, magnetostatic, okay. So, concept related to electrostatic, magnetostatic is what we have to cover and you can just refer to this syllabus and you can be very specific with the topics that you will be covering under this syllabus because electrostatic, magnetostatic itself is a wide range of syllabus that they have, okay. In section number 4, there is signal and system. So, in signal and system, you have to cover continuous time signal and system, discrete time signal and system. Continuous time Fourier analysis, discrete time Fourier analysis, Laplace transform and jet transform. So these are the topics that you will be covering in signals and system and be very specific. Just go through inside the syllabus and see what are the topics that you have to cover. In section number 5, we have electrical machine. So in electrical machine, you will be covering single phase transformer, three phase transformer, single phase and three phase induction machine, DC machine and synchronous machines, motors and generators, they are included in synchronous, they are included in electrical machine under section number 5. In section number 6, we have power system. So, under power system, you have to just cover the performance parameters of uh, transmission line. You have to cover the fault analysis, you have to cover power system stability, you have to cover protection system, you have to cover the compensation techniques insulator cable and distribution. So these are the topics that you'll be covering under power system and just go through the syllabus and see and just be very specific because all these subjects like machines and power system, they have wide range of sub, uh, syllabus. You should be very specific as per the trends that we had in the past. So just see the questions, what has been asked in the great questions and just try to eliminate what is not important and don't cover because both these subjects have wide range of syllabus and you have to be very specific with them. In section number 7, we have control system. So time domain analysis, frequency domain analysis, state space analysis, that is what you will be covering under control system. Okay. Then after that, in section number 8, we have electrical measurement, which includes bridges and potentiometer and measurement of voltage, current, power, energy and power factor. CRO and error analysis are the important topic. They have given questions in previous years as well and for this year also they are important. Analog and digital electronics. So in analog and digital electronics, you will be covering uh, simple diode circuits, simple BJT biasing circuits, okay, small concepts of MOSFET. Under digital, you will be covering combinational sequential circuits, Boolean algebra, all these concepts are there. In section number 10, we have power electronics. Okay, important subject. So under power electronics, you will be covering the static VI characteristic of different switches. You will be having an introduction of different uh, power devices, specifically uh, choppers, rectifiers, inverters. Okay, and many a times we have seen that sometimes voltage controllers are also being asked, although they are not mentioned in the syllabus. So it will be a my it will be my advice to you that just have a glimpse over the AC voltage controller concepts as well. So this is the syllabus. So
total 10 sections are there. Now you know what you can do? You can divide this complete syllabus into several groups. Group number one contains the basic subjects like network signals control and they are the foundation pillar. And just see I have written their weightages as well as per the previous years exams what we have seen. So they are these are their individual weightage and together they produce around 24 marks. So also this is a very important group and this is also the foundation pillar for the preparation of electrical engineering as well. Okay, If you are very good in this subject you will become very good in other subjects as well. Then after that you can have a second group as well in which I have just uh, written digital electronics, analog electronics and EMFT. Some unorthodox subject I can say, isn't it? And there is no link with other subjects, so they are individual subjects, you can pick them anytime and you can just start preparing them. Their weightage is around 15 marks, okay? If you want to have good rank in gate exam, you should not be ignoring, ignoring any of the subjects. Then uh, we have group number three in which I have just put in the core subjects like power electronics, power system and electrical machine and just see their average weightage. Together they carry 30 marks and this is a group which is very, very important. This is the group which is going to decide your performance in the gate exam. Okay, So try to prepare this group as better as you can. Then we have group number four in which general aptitude, engineering, mathematics and measurement is there and together their weightage is around 32.5 marks. Okay. So aptitude section and mathematics section, you don't have to do, do a lot of hard work in that. They just demand a consistency from your side, okay? And if you will give that consistency, surely you'll be able to score these 32.5 marks. So this is the information I wanted to give you. So the syllabus is released and there is no change in the syllabus at all. It's almost similar to the syllabus that we have from the last few years, okay? And you can just divide the syllabus as per their weightage into these four groups and you can just keep on preparing, okay? So from IMS Gate Academy and from my side, I wish you all the best for the upcoming Gate 2025 exam. Thank you so much.